Hey everybody, today's upload is a more detailed upload on positioning. So what I've done is I've mounted the camera low down on the bike so I can talk through more detail about where I'm positioning and why I'm positioning. Enjoy! Firstly we're going to talk about positioning for safety. When you do position you have to bear in mind anything that may cause you any danger. So there's no point being in a certain position if there's loads of gravel or mud or debris. So the priority first of all is safety. So let's talk about things like manhole covers which are over there, road furniture as I call it. In a straight line, <laughs> I'm going to get run over here, in a straight line this manhole cover isn't a problem. This is pretty grippy but obviously not as grippy as the road surface. The only possible danger here could be the pothole or the sunken road. If it is sunken like that, in a straight line all it's going to do is bounce your suspension. If you're banked over then yes it could destabilise your bike. So please, none of this swerving around manhole covers. There's no point in a straight line, just go over it. If you're banking over then you need to bear in mind how steep you're banking. If you're really cranking that over at speed and you go over that then yes it could destabilise your bike. It's not as likely to fetch you off as you think it would be because it's only a very small area. Your bike will probably change grip on it and then re-grip again. But it's not worth taking the risk, is it? We're also looking at position two. For example, as you can see here, position two is actually not in bad condition. The actual road is a little bit grippier than it is in position one or position three. So on this occasion, if you wanted to, you could be in position two. Somebody commented on my last upload, which I'll put at the end because you need to see that as well. Why be in position two? That's where all the sump line is and that's where the oil and the debris is. Okay, I'll put this to you. If there's debris in position two, what do you do? Correct, you move. It's as simple as that. Okay, I'm going to do an uncut full version here. So if for any reason I mess up, you will see the mess up and we can talk about it. So, we're going to be turning left here, and off we go. In position one for the right hand bend, which extends my view, third gear, 50 miles an hour limit, fourth gear is good on the Pan European because it's a V4, there's a uh, entrance to the left but I can see through and over the uh, wall so it's not a problem. Over to position three for the left hander. And then we're coming up to a sweep in left and there's an oncoming. So I'm going to move into position one here. The reason I decided one at the last minute was because of the heavy or the big lorry. I call them heavies. Over to three for the left hander. A little bit of debris in the middle, but nothing to worry about. There was a stone in the middle, but I avoided it. Okay, another left hander. So into two for the car, out to three for the view. Stay in three, looking through the trees. Still looking through the trees with a steady throttle. Position three still. There's another left-hander coming up, move in to position two for the oncoming, stay in two. I already have a view there, I can see a heavy in front of me. So I'm staying in three for the view around the left-hander. Post office van indicating to turn. Checking my mirrors, there's no one behind me. Bringing my speed down. And remember when I tell you I'm checking my mirrors, I'm checking them a lot more often than I actually say. So I bring my speed up, position one's good, change up to third again. Holding third, this is my view, this is my speed. Holding position one, and then over to, stay in one for now because of the oncoming, and then over to three. Extending my view around the left-hander, I can still see the lorry on the horizon. Staying in position three, oncoming vehicle over to one, and after he's gone, I'm going back over to three for a view. That's good, mirrors, there's no one behind me still. Here comes another heavy, so moving to one here. And on this occasion I'm staying in one because there's debris in position two. I do have a view around this corner and my speed isn't high enough that it warrants me being over to three. So as I was saying, safety takes priority over position. It's all about being safe. And if positioning gets you into your safe position then so be it. This one caught me out a few years ago. It's a lot tighter than it actually looks. Over to three. Now I'm closing in on the lorry, I'm going to be looking for a possible overtake.
staying in three for the left hand view over to one apex because I have a view here and then stay in one for the right hander it's warning me here I'm not going to move over to three on this occasion now I am because of that lorry I didn't want him to suddenly move out and put me in danger so I'm staying in three on this occasion bringing the throttle up over to one for the right hander staying in one nice and smooth bringing it down for the view have the view open it up into position three for the left hander holding three holding three oncoming over to one apex because I have a view over to one for the next right hander over to three ready for the left hander keep it in three until I see something three 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 keep it in three and again may as well stay in through here I'm already doing the speed limit I'm up to fifth gear now naturally bringing me over to one for the right hander checking the mirrors there's no one behind me stay in one speed limit change checking the mirrors there's no one behind me bringing it down and uh, I know to use fourth gear on this bike at 40 miles an hour it's good over to three for the left hander looking at the road surface there's a uh, lay by on the right here are some manhole covers that are pretty level not a problem at all staying in three for the view inside or inside outside this manhole cover and over that one because nothing I'm doing I'm going to go over this one on purpose and this one all it does is bumps your suspension I'm even braking over this one on purpose just to prove to you that they aren't quite as dangerous as people make them out to be you just need to be more careful if you can avoid them avoid them and the same with white lines as well I went over that one on purpose which put me offline over to one Staying in one for the oncoming, and then if it's clear for me to move over, I will do. Checking the mirror is all good. Over to three. Speed's coming down. I need a gear to match there because my speed came down quite a bit. Steady throttle, watching for oncoming. See, now I'm moving into two because it's that tight. What's the point in being out at three? If something suddenly comes speeding around that corner, I'm going to have to take sudden avoiding action. There was no real need to be in position three on that left hand bend. Staying in one for this right hander debris in position two staying in one bringing it up changing gear over to three thirty miles an hour mirrors speed there we go we're at thirty well I hope you enjoyed that everybody feel free to comment and if you do comment about anything in particular, try and give us a time code so that I can have a look at the video that you're referring to, or the part of the video that you're referring to. And I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.